In today's episode, you're going to see a 2005 Chrysler Crossfire. Hello everybody, welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, then welcome. I truly appreciate you being here today. If you've been to my channel before, then welcome back again. And as always, I truly appreciate the feedback, the comments that you leave for me, as well as the thumbs up and for you subscribing. It really does mean a lot to me and I truly, truly appreciate it. Today, you're gonna to see a 2005 Chrysler Crossfire. It's owned by Frank Code. You've met him in the past. He has a number of vehicles and this one is certainly unique. Um, it is basically a merge or a marriage between a Mercedes and Chrysler. It was part of the partnership that they had formed back in the day, creating this very, very unique car. There are elements of this car when you look at it that certainly look like a Mercedes and there are elements that look like a Chrysler and in fact there's parts from a Chrysler Sebring as well. So a very, very unique car, very, very fast. It's like driving a go-kart as Frank says. So hop in, let's go for a drive and let's check out this amazing cross. Well, you know the routine, Frank. Shall we just listen to the engine for yes. a little bit? Oh, that's lovely. All right, sir. So this one's a little different. It doesn't have the roar got the gentle hum of a Mercedes engine under the hood. And what is it? This is a 2005 Chrysler Crossfire. And what the Chrysler Crossfire is, when Mercedes and Chrysler merged, they developed this almost like a little concept car. So technically it's a Mercedes SLK that they put a Chrysler body onto. So everything underneath is all Mercedes. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, so it sounds and drives just like a Mercedes. You know what, when you look at it in a certain way, you yeah. can see lines of the SLK in yeah. this too. Wow, that's extraordinary. I didn't realize, but look at even the, the ridges and the detail in the, the front. For those of you who know Chryslers, this is the front end of the Chrysler Sebring. It really? has the same front end. Now the rear end is completely different. I love the rear end. The rear end to me looks a little Bentley-ish. There is something unique about it. This is it. actually almost pre-Bentley. Okay. It has beautiful lines though. Well, I bought this, I guess the first year I bought the SSR, the second year I went back to the classic car auction at the International Center. <laughs> Again, looking for my 71 Mercedes. And I've always, I mean, the rear end to me, I can sit in the back of this thing and just oh, stare at the rear end of the car. Beautiful. It's one of the most beautifully designed rear ends of a car. I would agree. I saw this thing, and again, the car was going so cheap, I could not, not buy it. You have to stop going to these events. I know. Well, that's the only good thing about COVID. It's kept me from going to the auctions. Look, except, look how much money you've saved Except now. then some, someone calls me about a car they had in their garage, which you did my 74 Chev, and I still bought another car. <laughs> I love this car. How many years did they actually make it? Again, this is a four year, only four years. Four years. Yeah. I love this. I love the angle of mm -hmm. this. Just the way it kind of swoops down. And what's neat about this, this section here, when you hit 100 kilometers an hour, it's a spoiler. It raises up because Very the car is so light cool. to help keep it down on the ground. Very cool. Exactly. I love the fins on these yeah. things too. Really, really elegant. So again, this is all stock, Frank. Have you mm -hmm. done anything? Hundred percent. Okay, this is the way it came. The only thing I did when I bought it, I had to get the wheels refinished because they weren't in the best of shape. People kept scuffing them up against the curbs. Yeah. So I had the wheels refinished, but other than that, these were aluminium. Uh, 
Yeah, I believe so, yes. Very also nice. known as aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then. Depending how you pronounce your syllables. Yeah, so, I, so you're saying I said yeah, it yeah. wrong. Okay. <laughs> aluminum. All right, I'll have to remember. You know, considering I've been in Canada most of my life, I still don't get that right. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's funny, you look at this car and in so many ways, just certain parts of it mm -hmm. look like a Mercedes, for sure. There is something about that. And to me, the back still looks like a, a, a Bentley. Um, just the way the yes, lines, I agree. Yeah. lines go across there. How big is the engine on this car? It's a V6. Okay. Pop the hood. I don't remember what the cubic or liter displacement is. But I know the uh, speedometer regs 260 kilometers an hour. So it gives you an indication about the top speed and of this puppy. Yes, and I know you, you're good for testing these things. Oh, of course. Yeah. Wow. Now, I know a lot of guys who have these cars will take this cover off yeah, I bet. and take the SLK cover from the Mercedes because oh. it fits perfectly. Okay. And they replace it with that because it's a Mercedes engine. It's all engine up front. Yep. It's interesting to see all the uh, the, the shielding. They all the heat, yeah. That. Yeah. Very good. And about how about the back? You gotta get the key. Where's the key? I gotta. Don't know if it's unlocked or not. Well, it's got a nice little hatchback. Oh yes. Yeah. Big enough to probably get golf clubs in or something. Well, a couple of Not much. two fours in there. That's yeah, they, oh yeah. Need. Very cool. No spare tire or is there one like no a donut? No spare tire. A, not even a donut under not here? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> but this way, if there is, I never <laughs> This will be the first time we're, the first we're checking time. that no out. No spare tire, All no. Right. <laughs> wow, I like this though. Yeah. That is just so cool. And I think I can get the spoiler to pop up. Let me see if I can without. Ah, that'd be a nice little. Uh, Let's see touch. if I can get it. Sometimes she'll go. <clears throat> so I can figure this out. Where are we here? Oh, yes. Oh, Frank, that's so cool. Yeah. That is so cool. Now, there is an upgraded version of this, I think it's the SRT Crossfire, that has a permanent spoiler that's mounted on the back, which I don't like. To me, it takes away from the car. I like this better. The clean look. And yeah, uh, well, this isn't very clean under there, but That's okay. Me. That gives it character, Frank. The dirt? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> so this is an automatic thing, right? As it, as it reaches a certain Yeah, speed. you hit about 100 kilometers an hour, it automatically comes up, and when you get below 100, it drops right back down again. That is so cool. Yeah. Gives it a lovely bit of elegance yeah. to it, too. Again, it's it's different. It is a different car. You know what? All your cars are head turners, mm -hmm. right? I, I think that is the definition. It's, it just looks so unique. You just want to give it another look, another take. Except hopefully the only thing people see of this car is the rear end. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but which is the coolest rear end. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. And let me have a to look To me, inside. they're just sort of like rolling pieces of art. They are. Yeah. yeah. They are very, very cool. And this is a six speed. Power everything. It's got a beautiful finish to it. Yeah. Frank. Very, very nice. The interesting thing about when you're going through the gears and you get in the six gear is trying to remember what gear you're in when you're trying to downshift. Yes. It's almost like, it's nice having it, but it's almost too many when you're trying to figure, okay, where the heck am I when you're trying to downshift? <laughs> Let me go and have a little closer look from this end. Yeah. And I guess I can turn that off. Frank, there's no ashtray. Nee, 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 nee. Oh my God. And it's full of cigarette butts. <laughs> and there's, and the there's a lighter. lighter. Oh my God. I thought I had you for a second. And then you've got a neat little place for storing stuff. I mean, talk about not a lot of space in here, but 
You know what? That is just so cool. No, you literally, when you sit in this car, it's like you strap the car onto because it's very tight fitting. But once you're in here, there's this amazing amount of leg room. But even the way the seats appear, they, they're, they're very, uh, like even on, on the back of yours, I yeah. see you've got the control for the, uh, what is that? The bolsters. The upper bolsters, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Now, the, I think one of the few options on that this car doesn't have is the leather seats, which when you're in a black car and it's hot as hell, yeah. sometimes I like the cloth better. Very nice. Well, it would be wrong to let it just sit here. Don't you think we should go for a little bit of a spin? I think, no, I think we should take it for a spin. Oh, should we do that instead then? Yeah, let's, do, right, that let's do that instead. Unless you want to take it for a spin. No, no. Well, are you okay with the aluminium wheels and that coming <laughs> Yes. <laughs> as long as they turn, you can call them anything you want. <laughs> Way more than Come about on. 180 pounds. You ain't stealing this car because you won't fit in it. When I bought this car at the auction, a guy came up to me because he wanted it and got to the auction too late. He was over 300 pounds and he was going to buy it. And he said, uh, can I at least sit in it? And I said, okay, well, he got halfway in the car and gave up. Really? He had he, a struggle if, with it. If he had bought it, he never would have gotten in the car. Interesting. The gearbox is also from a Mercedes, yeah. I think? Drive, it's like you? a little rocket on oh, wheels. Oh, it is indeed. There's so much torque there. Huge, huge. Now, I'm not going to do this here, but first gear is so-so, but if I'm in the car alone, when I shift in the second, it'll rip the tires right off it in second gear. Really? Oh my god. And that's the second gear. You really, really feel that. It's like a almost like a go-kart. Yes. Now I know what you mean, because when you said that initially I thought, well, I'm not sure what he means by that, but you're yeah. right. The feeling is very, very similar. Yeah. It's very tight. Extremely. Very well built. So this is a, a rear wheel or a front wheel drive? Rear wheel. Rear wheel, okay. Yeah. But it's relatively quiet. There Ooh. we go, we got a little chirp. I love that. Yeah. It has a ton of power to this oh. thing. Well, again, it's a little car with a V6 engine in it. Yeah. I think the horsepower on this, I think, is around 235, right. I think. Oh, that's a beauty as well. Yeah, he's had that car for a long time. I think he yeah. just had that one restored a couple of years ago. That's nice. just don't expect it to do that. No. But it does, and it's just, oh, incredible feeling. And again, there aren't a lot of these cars now, and this one obviously doesn't get the same attention that all the other cars do. It's almost like a sleeper. Yes, you're right. Like, if this was uh, beside you in a traffic light, you wouldn't think this car was able to do anything. No, and just... it doesn't get the looks and everything, nope. which is fine. I don't care. I just bought it because, hey, I love the way it drives and yes. the way it looks. But it's a fun car to drive. Extremely. Yeah. I wonder what the options are when you buy a car like this new. 
well, I guess the air air conditioning would have been an option. Uh, I guess the leather seats, if this if would have been an option, I don't, because I think this thing has almost everything yeah. else you can imagine on it. Or you go up to the upgraded SRT model, which had a, I had a slightly bigger engine. I mean, to me, this thing is so powerful, I can't imagine this thing with a bigger engine sure. in it. But and that was a six-speed option as well. Yeah. Man, oh man, Frank. Incredible power. Yeah. And it just, Mind you, you could never buy this car in an automatic. You, you want to be able to shift the oh, gears. Oh, well, yeah, I, if it was an automatic, I wouldn't have bought it. Yeah. Oh, look, there's that little red car again. God, where? <laughs> is that the same one, or is there a whole bunch of them around the well, city? Well, I think there's just one of a kind, but um, I could be mistaken. Ah. The fellow who owns it is a pretty decent guy, I've heard. But so I, I I've know. heard. Yeah, yeah, rumor has it. Rumor has it. The only yeah. thing I've heard is the way he drives so slow. Well, like an old, well, like an old lady? Yes. Oh, man. Like a, but, but like she, a grandmother. Ooh. <laughs> those are fighting words there. <laughs> Mind you, I don't think I could ever drag race you based on any of the cars that you own, but well, uh, maybe a Cube van. Uh, yeah, uh, the Cube van. Oh, time. you haven't seen me drive the Cube <laughs> van. <laughs> that, I believe. Yeah. Oh, my God, man. It's just lovely. And unfortunately, I know you're not allowed to have music showing, but the sound system in this car is mind-blowing. I bet. It's just, you've got surround sound, the doors, and everywhere. And it's well, you know, a, for a lark, put it on anyway, and I'll mute it out, put some, some regular YouTube music on for, for the, the girls and boys at home. Okay, Let's I think see what, what I'll do does. is I'm going to put my... I've got a uh, ABBA, Best of ABBA oh, tape yes, yes, that I yes. keep in the SSR. Right. Um, <coughs> Eagles? I've got a lot of tapes at home, but... Do, guess what I'm buying you for Christmas, Frank? What's that? The Eagles. As long as it's a CD, because anything else I won't be able yes, to use Yes, I'll, I'll even find a CD for you. That's there you my go. I'm just trying to figure out what the kilometers are on this puppy. You know, There's so many buttons on this thing, I don't know what half them do. <laughs> and I never bothered even yeah, trying and to and find this out. Is, this is the guy with the flip phone again. Again, I think... And look, it's even got a phone holder, everybody. 73,271 wow. kilometers, so not a lot. Not a lot. And what, what year again is the car? It's a 2005. Yeah. Now, this was supposed to be for a cup holder. Oh. There's a unit that goes in there that will expand and virtually try and find a crossfire that has one that works because they break almost immediately. Right. So now I use it to hold my flip phone. Just made for the flip phone. Just made for the flip phone. Unbelievable. This is a lovely car, Frank. And then we and got the... So unique. And again, it's got the AC. It's got all the bells and whistles. Which blows nice and... It's got a, a good system in it. It's got traction control off and on. What do you drive in the winter? Uh, my other car. Which one? I've got a 2005 Toyota RAV4 okay. with 40,000 original kilometers on okay. it. So perfect vehicle for the winter. Yeah, wheel that drive. and the cube van. Yeah. Probably even the RAV4, I don't like to drive it much in the winter because I don't want to get it full of salt. Yeah. So generally it's the cube van everywhere in the winter. So when this nice weather comes, I can't wait to start playing with all my cars. There's just this look about it, which is so cool. And if you're really tall, good luck. I mean, I'm 5'10". If I was a couple of inches taller, I probably wouldn't fit in here comfortably either. Yeah, yeah it's possible too. Yeah. But luckily you're not. Mm -hmm. So it's just meant to be. Yes, definitely. 100%. What are these little uh, levers for? Oh, for your grocery bags or something? It's a tie down, I think, of some sort. Some sort, yeah. God knows. Again, there's all sorts of things in here. I don't have a clue what they're for, and I don't really care. I just care about getting in, turning the key, and going. Yes, and putting your foot down. Exactly. Very good. I do that a lot. Yeah, I know. I noticed yes, that. You yes, you noticed. <laughs> it's a good thing I wear a new pair of underwear every time I get in the car with you, Frank. Is that why you went home? Yeah, yeah. Because, well, you never know, right? <laughs> 
I love it. I love it. I'm just gonna see if I can get the spoiler down. It should go down by itself. <laughs> there you go. That is so cool. Yeah. You know, it's funny. It kind of you feel like a little kid when you see that kind of I thing know. happening, right? It's just the well, coolest these, that's thing. what these are. They're they're toys. They are indeed. And I just love the sweep of that. Like just the way it looks. So so unique. Very nice, Frank. Now this car was due to go in the paint shop because it's got a lot of scratches on when I bought it, and I was going to get them to fix all that mm -hmm. as opposed to getting a repaint job until I bought the. Uh, the 74 Caprice. So now this is going to wait till next year. Right. The Caprice gets done first and this gets done. So you have like a little pecking order. Unless, of course, you end up with another car. Is there a show coming up this year? Ah, God only knows. I hope so. Well, we're all vaccinated. Maybe. Maybe yeah. things will start opening up. Let's see what happens. Well, the problem is the fall with the variant because it's the fall when the flu and everything comes back. This if we don't true. get anything major this fall, then hopefully the classic car auction at the International Center will come back and yeah and who knows yeah for sure because it'll be what two long years where it hasn't happened yeah very nice frank again i gotta thank you this has been a lot of fun i enjoy this shall we uh <laughs> shall we do the cube van now <laughs> since, we're, <laughs> since we're at it <laughs> we'll save the cube actually it'd be fun doing the cube van because you'd be blown away by the what i've done to the back of the cube van like what custom shelving units off solid aluminum no way We'll do that another time. We will, yes. Amazing. But the cube van, I've tried it, won't burn rubber. <laughs> the only vehicle I have, I can't get and to And I believe you say you've tried. Yeah. Like, yes, oh, yeah. I can see that happening. Cars are meant to be driven, I That's suppose. It. Yeah. Very nice. Frank, thank you. Oh, this has been a blast for me. This and I is thank you uh, for the fun. a fun little car, and it's yeah. just so unique and elegant in its own way. In today's episode, you're going to see a 2005... What the hell is it again? Shit. That's your phone. Do you need to grab it? That's a catchy tune, Frank. <clears throat> Hello! Yeah, it's probably just someone doing duck cleaning or something. <laughs> <laughs> you you get them as well, right? Or I get Visa credit apartment saying so, so, someone's tried to use your yes. Visa card. Don't you get the CRA too. calling you as well and saying everybody, you know what? everybody uh, but who I want? Exactly. I love the. Visa.